I start with a new project which has two sounds and the main scene. Uh, then we're going to start out by creating a canvas layer which has a button that plays a sound when you click it. Center it. We're going to add a script to this button and all it's going to do is it's going to export a variable stream which is an audio stream type and it's going to have to play a sound when we click it so we can actually connect the pressed function to this script. And then here you would like to play a sound, which we can do right now. We're going to do this in an auto loaded script. So let's create a new script called Audio Manager. Let's add this to the auto loading files. Add so we can reference it by this name. So in the button script, you can now actually say Audio Manager. Dot play sound which is a function that we're going to create and we're going to pass it the stream that's going to be uh, passed into this button and we're going to create a function play sound which is going to have a stream which is an audio stream type and then we have to make a note that's actually going to play the sound and I think it's going to be the normal audio stream player and we're going to create one just here so we can see what the variables are that we're going to adjust. Okay, so we are going to create a new instance of this node. It's going to be audio stream player dot new. We're going to set the stream of this instance because we need to set the sound. Stream is stream. We're going to add child to this auto loader script, this instance, because we need it to be there in the node tree to play it. And then we're going to actually play the sound. And if we now give the button the sound which we have here, it should already work. It does. Uh, what we can see now though, if we look at the remote um, scene tree, is that we still have these nodes. They're going to persist after we click the button because we're not actually removing them. So let's uh, make sure that we remove them by connecting to a signal that indicates when a sound is finished playing. We're going to do that right over here. So we have this instance.finish is actually the signal you want to listen to. We're going to connect this to a function we don't have yet. I'm going to create that now. And all we're going to do is remove the node. And let's say instance. It's going to be of type audio stream player because that's the node type. I'm going to say instance of Q3 because we want to destroy this node when it's finished playing the sound. So in this connect function, it, it needs a, or in this, yeah, we need, a, we need to pass this function into the connect function. And then we also need to pass the instance to this function. So we can do it by saying we need to um, activate this function when the sound is finished playing. And then we need to bind the instance to this function because we need the instance reference in order to know what node to remove. And this should already remove the nodes that, oh, there they go. So you can see that they come when we click the button to play the sound and then they get removed by the audio manager once they're finished playing. And then for something extra, since we define the audio stream object type as a parameter that we accept in the audio manager, we can also um, pass uh, more types of audio streams into this audio manager, which means we can also make a button that plays one of two sounds. And let me show you how to do that. Okay, new button, play random sound, it's good, center it, move it down a little bit, right, then we can actually use the same script on this button, because it needs a stream, we're going to create a audio stream randomizer which allows us to define multiple sounds and it's going to pick a random one for us, we don't have to do that, so, put these sounds in, Put this on random, otherwise it's just going to play one and the other uh, in sequence. We just want it to be completely random. And then we still need to connect the pressed signal to this script. And then we should have no problems. So this plays a single sound. And this should play a random sound. And that's it. One thing uh, that you must know if you use uh, an audio manager like this, like an auto loader script, is that you 
lose the reference to the sound player in the entity that actually plays the sound, which is the button. And um, you also can't really use the audio stream player 2D because since we use it in an auto loader script, you lose the position in the game world. So that's that's uh, two things to keep in mind. But uh, if you want quick sound in your game that always plays globally, then uh, this is a quick solution. Thanks for watching.